Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscurian Joe PT, and for today what we have here is that Rising 4 running on my laptop with the GT 740M which is very close to the 800, 825M and 920M. So that Rising 4 is developed by Capcom Vancouver and it's using Forge engine. The Forge engine is exactly the same engine that was behind that Rising 3. I heard some rumors that this game was supposed to feature Unreal Engine, but they decided to go with their Forge engine. So for the settings I will be using this resolution with Borderless. I'm using Borderless because using Borderless on this game makes uh, the game acting, I mean when you choose the, re the resolution it acts as a resolution scaling so basically I'm running with the native resolution but applying a resolution scaling of 600, uh, 640 per 480 also there is another option that I want to show you, okay so everything is pretty much on the minimum but there is this option which is called dynamic load scaling for example, if you choose these targets, uh, 30 FPS, the game is trying to do everything it can regarding the resolutions coming to sustain 30 FPS. The problem is, we are already using a very internal, a very low internal resolution, so I don't think that this is making anything. And the second problem is this: uh, it's it's this game, okay. Dead Rising 3, it was very demanding because of the zombie hordes. Uh, they just put uh, too much zombies on screen. And I don't know. These guys are crazy. On Dead Rising 4, they just done it twice. I mean, it's even more zombies on screen than it was on Dead Rising 3. And so, as you can expect, the performance is going even worse. So, if you are looking to the temperatures, you might be a little bit worried. Don't worry, I'm living in Portugal. And by now it's 3 a.m. and uh, you don't want to know. It's pretty much 40 degrees and this is pretty much impossible. The laptop is suffering a little bit with the temperatures, but it's not affecting the performance. Uh, this laptop only suffers from performance problems if the temperatures goes above 95 degrees, which is not happening, okay? But regarding the performance of the game, yeah, you could saw that the game was close to 10 FPS. This happens when you overlook uh, great hordes of zombies, but it, it needs to be near you. And the big question is, is this playable? I mean, playing at 10 FPS or under than 20, is this playable at all? Well, I could finish this level, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> this is... I don't know. It's your decision, but... Uh, yeah, it's playable, but... Uh, yeah, saying that playing a game at 10 FPS is playable, it's... Quite weird it's playable but I don't recommend it okay just avoid it at all costs I could finish this level and this level it's pretty much this it's big hordes of zombies everywhere it's probably 1000 zombies in here maybe even more on screen this is insane they are doing the same thing that Assassin's Creed Unity uh, had done which uh, which was they put a lot of people on screen and people end up saying that the game was bad optimized which I disagree the game for the quantity of persons that were on screen, they they were actually optimized, but they were too demanding. And in scene, in this game, it's exactly the same thing. You know, this is too much. I mean, look at this. This is pretty much thousands and thousands of zombies. It's obviously that the game isn't going to run well. I I'm, I don't know. They probably could go with less zombies on screen. This is the absolute minimum settings, okay? And we see like thousands and thousands of zombies. This is not normal. This was supposed to be less zombies on screen for people with low settings. I don't know. So this is pretty weird. And look at these shadows. This is pretty much a bunch of uh, Minecraft blocks on the ground. So yeah, and a PowerPoint slideshow. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to play the rest of this level. And the second level will be a little bit more relaxed since there isn't uh, hordes of zombies. So you can see that the performance isn't actually that bad. But as soon as you start to get close to hordes of zombies, the performance just goes really, really bad as you have been seen by now. So I'm recording with OBS. OBS can take like 3 to 5 FPS. But anyway, trust me. This type of frame rate is what you can expect even without recording. And if you want to check the results without recording, it's on the description of the video, so I invite you to check it out. 
And if you want to hear me discuss a little bit more about the performance, uh, you just need to go to the end of the video. There is a timestamp there on the description. And with that, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Fuck up, Frank. All right, look, you know what? You've had your fun. Can I go now? <laughs> Your contacts say how to get inside? Yeah. There's a security card hidden in a shed somewhere. All right, then. Here we go. There's a shed. I'll check it. You keep an eye out. Yeah. You got it. Found it. Now what? It opens a door nearby. Come on. Okay, just slow down, Nancy Drew. I don't want to get shot, okay? Hey, get down! Oh, shit! I got coffee inside. Come on. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> No way this is some reservist training center. Those guys were dressed for combat. And what's with the masks? I saw them. Look, can you just calm down a bit? Whatever's here, we're not leaving without it. It's a promise. Oh, yeah? Knew you had a Frank West in there somewhere. Shut up. Wait up! Shh! I heard something. Oh, my God. Get some pictures. Gee, you think? I have done this oh, before, you know. Thinking about it. What the fuck are we still doing here? Frank? Shh! What the hell is going on here? Let's go find out. The cameras are off. My contact must have disabled them. Oh, 
Ooh, I can work with this. All right, last cell. You ready, Professor? Hold your horses! Do it! That's enough. <laughs> Just like old times. Hang on. I'm coming down. Vic, I forgive you. This is way better than mini golf. Wow. Little cows, don't you think? They're just zombies, Vic. I know. It's just. They were people once. Look, it was them or me. Can we just get on with the reportage? All right, all right. I'm with you. Bingo. Some kind of laboratory? You take notes, I'm gonna shoot this. I think this equipment is for stimulating changes in the brain. What, are you a med student too? Nah, I just read a lot of sci-fi. It looks like they've been operating on them. There's already a vaccine for zombieism. So what's the point? It's creepy, whatever it is. Zombrex. This stuff suppresses zombieism if you get bit. Yeah, but everyone's immune to the parasite now. Shit. Where do they even get these zombies? Look, we don't need all the answers, just enough to sell the story. Come on, let's keep moving. Too dark. Turn on your night vision filter. My what now? Oh! I added a bunch of new filters to your camera, so after the prerequisite amount of old man grumbling, give it a try. Huh. Neat. Anything interesting? I'm looking, I'm looking. This is some kind of surveillance room. Come on, let's take a look. They're experimenting on zombies. Imprisoning them. But what for? For observation. They're trying to create something. Shit. Frank, we're gonna stop these assholes, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. We get the story, we get out, we get paid. That's what we do. That's all we do. Something you want to say? Always. <sighs> Wrong night to go commando, I tell you. Ah, oh, Frank. Gross.
Shit, this door is code locked. You can hack the code with your spectrum analyzer. Let me guess. You messed with my camera again, right? You're a quick one. Uh, that's what she said. I've never seen a zombie freak out like this before. God, Frank, look at her. She's suffering. Yeah, and the only way forward is through this chamber. Hello, boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video. So, yeah, I just tested these settings. That was the same ones that I used on the video. And I only tested the first level, so as you can see, minimum frame of 10. Okay, that's... that's insane. 1% low of 12. This is even lower than 15 frames. Average of 28. And a maximum of 57 so this is so inconsistent this is basically you look to a world of zombies and you get like 10 FPS's and you look to someone else or somewhere else there where there isn't zombies on screen and you get almost 60s so this is how this game works and looking to the consistency you can see that pretty much 40% of the time on this first level, the game was running lower than 25 FPS's. Not good. And 15% of the frames gathers that I gathered in here was lower than 20 FPS's. So, the VRAM usage on this game was nothing special. It was just 600 megabytes. So, any graphic card with 1 gigabyte can handle the textures. The RAM usage, although I fully recommend it to have 8 gigabytes of RAM for this game. 6 might cut it, okay? So the CPU usage, unsurprisingly, it was between the 50s and the 100%. Uh, I'm not surprised since there were so many zombies on screen that the CPU should be like dying trying to, to render all of them. And the GPU usage, we, I actually saw some bottleneck somewhere where the GPU usage was at the 90%, so I could say that the GPU usage was between the 90 and the 99%. So again, the million dollar question, is this game playable? Well, that depends if you can handle uh, playing against Orts of Zombies at 10 FPS, 10, 15 FPS. Okay, so if you can manage that and you are a really, really a big, big fan of the series and you can't wait up, well, just buy the game. But don't expect to play at good, def good FPS's uh, in the middle of the yards, okay? But aside from the yards, the game just plays fine above the 30s with no problems whatsoever, okay? And this first level, it's a little bit extreme, so maybe the rest of the game, uh, the yards of zombies might not be so aggressive as on this first level. But anyway, keep in mind that uh, I only test... I only not. Sometimes I just test the worst case scenario, and this one, it's another one of them okay so with that this concludes my video thank you a lot for watching and i do hope to see you soon and good luck with the zombies and the performance which might be uh, a much complicated enemy than the zombies themselves okay so thank you a lot for watching and i do hope to see you soon goodbye